I'm Catherine Desina Sapelin, and today we're doing quarterly goals. I have everything nicely written out on this piece of paper because there's a lot of them. All right, starting with last quarter's goals, I had time management. I have no idea what I wanted to do with this. I was not specific and I didn't do anything in regards to time management. So I failed. Awesome job, Catherine. You know you're supposed to be specific with your goals, what the heck? Number two, positive attitude. So I accomplished this and I'm really happy because there was the whole thing in April where Prince Charming was gone for a month and then there was sort of the surprise of level eight and I kept my cool, everything went well and I focused on the positive so I'm very happy with myself. Go Catherine. My writing word count, yay! <laughs> So when I started, my word count on my blog was around 500 words per post and I wanted to bring that up to 600 and I accomplished that. So I put a new goal of 700 and I accomplished that too. So I've increased my word count and what's really, really great is last year I had 79 posts, I think, and like X amount of word count. But so far, I have 72 posts and I beat my year word count. So I'm very happy about that. Like that wasn't a goal, but like it's an extra bonus. Number four, short stories, which I failed. <sighs> oh, Catherine, 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 Catherine. In fairness. <laughs> I'm gonna give a good excuse. Level eight was nothing but reading and writing. And it's reading and writing in a foreign language. I would read something and I knew the words, but they just together in the sentence were not making sense. And then I just could not spell because I swear I would write something the way it was supposed to be spelled. And then she give it back to me. And it's like, that's not how I wrote it. They moved. I know that sounds insane, but level eight was a bit more difficult than I anticipated. So I sort of dropped my stories because I figured I'm writing in class. That counts. I still failed my goal, but I did do lots of writing. It was mostly short little essays and stories for Dutch class, which were really badly written in Dutch. Number five, reading all my books for Book Dissect. And ooh, guys, I... When I started Book Dissect, I was like four books ahead and now I'm barely on top of it. Last week's Book Dissect, I actually had to hold off making the video almost till the day of because I had to finish reading the book. And so like I'm super happy that I'm getting the books out, but it's really difficult getting these books read in a timely fashion. So I, I really, yeah. Good job, but, but this might end up being a problem in the future. Dutch. Originally my Dutch goal was to write every day and read every day, and it was supposed to be outside of class. But since the class was solely focused on reading and writing, and we were really reading and writing every single day, and I was normally coming home and practicing because we'd sort of have like extra, it wasn't homework, but she said, hey, if you're bored and you want to work on Dutch, like here's a present. Because I'm such a nerd, I actually would do these extra exercises. And so I wasn't reading what I set out to read and I wasn't working on the practice stuff that I originally set out, but I was still reading and writing. So modifying the goal, I get it. And then health. Um, I was supposed to ride my bike to school and I never did because I had to drive people home from school, that's why. That's a good excuse, right? I mean, I'm not giving it to myself, I'm just saying that's why I didn't do it, because I was lazy. Overall, I got 80% of my goals, I'm very happy. And now we have goals for the quarter coming up. And a little like caveat for this quarter is because it's summer, I have this huge list here of a whole bunch of goals which are still a sort of rough ideas if you want to know exactly specifically be sure to check out my blog because i'll be really nitpicking exactly what needs to happen but 
sometimes in my head I think this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen, and then fate likes to laugh at me and just say no. Number one are my personal private goals, which I'm not sharing with you guys, but there's two of them. Number two, health. And I'm putting this into physical and mental health. Mental health being finding something that I am grateful for every single day. And then for physical, I want to do weights and cardio. Third up is YouTube. So by popular demand, I want to do one Alting video per month. Fourth up is Dutch. And this is also something that's not completely ironed out. I want to read one short story in Dutch per week. You can do it, Catherine. The library at Eper is hosting these Dutch pattern thingies, and I don't know what they are, but they also have a play thingy for the kids. And I don't need to go every Tuesday. I just need to go and find out to see what it's like. And if I enjoy it, I have to go. Five is writing. And this is where my ego is coming in. I have so many writing challenges for this month. Probably the biggest thing is I'm not going to be writing short stories this quarter. I'm still going to be doing the short story challenge where I offer prompts. I myself am just not going to be doing the short stories. Instead, I have a 90 day journaling challenge. I also want to make up the stories that I missed from last quarter so that I can have 25 complete short stories. I want to participate in Camp NaNoWriMo, which will have started, I think it's Monday is the first, and this is coming out on the third. So I will have started in Camp NaNoWriMo. And then number six, reading. Of course, I will be doing one fiction book, one nonfiction book, and I want to try out one short story for Book Dissect every single month. So these are the big goals that I have drafted out. I may or may not be adding some more just to give myself a headache later. But that's what I have for you guys this week. I'd love to know your own progress with your quarterly goals, so share those in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. YouTube algorithm doesn't care as long as you interact with my video. If you'd like to support this channel, then be sure to share it with your friends, family, and strangers on the internet because that does help. All my social links have been left in the description below for your convenience. You can stalk me on Twitter, I have Facebook, and I keep a blog, which you should check out because I continue the conversation there. And people even tell me that it's a nice blog and, you know, social validation, guys, so it must be good. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Tote scenes, my apple scenes. You guys remember in my last outro when I was talking about Cress and making a quiche? Well, I made a quiche again. Only this time, I didn't ask, and I got the wrong quiche. So I made a quiche with a sweet crust, and it just, it's not the same when it's the wrong kind of crust.